You're watching the Auction Network. When it comes to superstars in the auction industry, there's no one bigger than Leroy Van Dyke, a rock star in the auction world and the music business. We caught up with the entertainer recently, and the legend reflected on his distinguished career and unique place in auction history. I do some auctioneering, but 95% of my work is performing. Most people know me as a country music entertainer. I've been an entertainer since 1956. I've been an auctioneer since 1951 and I've combined uh, entertaining and auctioneering now for a good long time. The reason people know who I am is not because of what I did in the auction business. I identify with these people and they with me because of a song that I wrote uh, while I was in Korea in the Army. It's a true story about a, an auctioneer named Ray Sims. He's my second cousin from my home county, Pettis County, Missouri. And uh, the song is called Auctioneer. The Auctioneer was released in 1956, and Van Dyke's hit song has sold over 3 million copies. Little did he know that over 50 years later, folks would still be singing that song about a boy who wanted to grow up to be an auctioneer. We released it, and within two weeks it was hitting the charts. Within three months we sold a million. Uh, to date it's probably sold maybe three million records. And it, uh, it has become the anthem of auctioneers everywhere. Leroy Van Dyke has been a professional auctioneer for more than 45 years and a musical entertainer for more than 40 years. His dual talents have served him well in both professions. I have a degree in animal science and journalism from the University of Missouri. And after I got out of the Army, I came home and got a job with a livestock newspaper. Um, it, was a, it was a fourfold deal. It was public relations, advertising, uh, journalism, writing up the results of shows and sales and uh, work in the ring at the auctions. And that brings me around to the Professional Ring Dance Institute because that's what I did for three years with the newspaper, is work the ring at Pure Red Livestock Sales. I'd have to say that there's a very good possibility that we're not for this person you're about to meet and listen to for a few minutes, we might not be here today because he had a very big impact on my life getting involved even in the auction industry, like probably so many of you here as well. A uh, very, very accomplished individual. He's the only one I know that probably had the longest, number, longest running number one hit in country western music as well, and that was a song called Walk On By, and I think it was 50 some weeks, it was number one on the chart. I don't think anybody's ever accomplished that since this gentleman. It's always a pleasure to have him here as a guest speaker, and I'm proud to be able to call him my friend as well. Please make welcome the world's most famous auctioneer, Leroy Van Dyke. After all that, I don't know what to say. I've been an auctioneer for about 55 years. Um, I'm a graduate of Rappert School of Auctioneering in Decatur, Indiana. It was Decatur, it's not anymore, they moved it. Um, and I'm licensed. I've sold everything from Buffalo to bulldozers and from rabbits to real estate and items in between. I've never been a full-time auctioneer. I've combined auctioneering with the entertainment business, most of you know some of my records if you listen to the radio. And if you're, well, some of you too young to know. But uh, I've done this for quite some time. So much for uh, auctioneering. I've, I've done uh, many, many kinds of auctions, but it's all, most of it has been in conjunction with the entertainment business, although I have done a lot of contract auctioneering, just walk in and do the sale, take my check and go home. I've never been a sale manager or anything like that. What many of you don't know is that in a previous life, I was a ring man. A ring man is a very integral part of a very complex marketing program. The auctioneer is selling, but it's up to those ring men to, to help him sell, to, to keep straight where the bid is, who's bidding, what the bid is, uh, what animals in the ring. They have to know a lot, of, a lot about the business, and it's, uh, it's just part of a, a very complex marketing program. Most ring men uh, really don't know what they're doing. Uh, I think the ones that are the best trained are possibly the automobile auctioneers and the, the purebred livestock auctioneers. They've had more training, but uh, in general auctioneering, I, I don't think most of the auctioneers help with the uh, ring men. 
most of them don't know what they're doing. I've worked hundreds and hundreds of field red livestock auctions uh, scattered all the way from uh, Canada to the south and to the west and to the east. Um, even after my first record had sold a million records, they'd call me from time to time and uh, they'd be short of a ring man to, to cover a certain sale. I'd go there and it was really kind of a novelty to, to go from the stage to go back to work and what I used to, yeah, what I used to do. It was a lot of fun to see my old friends during that time. Van Dyke's lifelong commitment to the auction industry earned him a spot in the National Auctioneers Association Hall of Fame in 1996. Train, train yourself to be professional and don't give up those two things. Uh, create an image that's good, learn all you can, get as, as good at what you do as you possibly can, and get so good that you can't be ignored, and you'll be successful. Just stay with it until you are successful. These days, Van Dyke resides in Sedalia, Missouri, and travels more than 100,000 miles a year with various entertainment and auctioneering commitments. A lot of sleepless nights, but, but I chose it. You know, I could work for a living. <laughs> Leroy Van Dyke will forever hold a special place in the hearts of auctioneers and auction lovers everywhere. His devotion to the industry continues today through a series of instructional tapes. They detail his secrets to success as well as provide numerous public speaking and auctioneering tips. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.